with fluctuations of global temperatures and changes to migratory patterns of specific types of mosquitoes, this places nearly half of the world at risk of developing a potential dengue fever infection. So for today's video, let's break down how the dengue fever vaccine actually works. Now, dengue is a virus that is transmitted to individuals through a vector. So there is no human to human transmission, but rather it uses the vector of a mosquito to transmit. So that mosquito could bite an infected individual, and then when it goes on to bite an uninfected individual, it could pass on that virus. And there are four different subsets of dengue that often infect individuals. So when vaccine manufacturers were thinking of developing a vaccine, they wanted to account for those different subsets. And what they did was they looked at the genetic material or DNA of just one of the proteins that's found on the four different subsets. And that's known as the envelope protein. And they took those four different strands of DNA and inserted them into an attenuated yellow fever virus. So that's a weakened form of the virus that isn't actually able to establish an infection. So now with the DNA from dengue fever, those yellow fever viruses now express four different envelope proteins found on the four subsets of the dengue virus. So when it's administered as a vaccine, our immune system recognizes that this virus does not belong and it creates memory against the proteins associated with it, including those four different types of envelope proteins. Therefore, it will be more equipped to deal with an infection in the future if you come into contact with the dengue virus. Now, there are some specific requirements necessary for receiving a dengue fever vaccine. Now, this is often given to individuals who are between the ages of nine to 16 and those who have had a prior infection with dengue. So for more information related to infectious diseases, vaccines, and other health topics, make sure to stay connected to my channel and with Dane Garvin.